Hi and welcome to Kids Workshop. And as you can see, I have already started. And <coughs> on the uh, upper part of uh, the, the trebuchet, the, this one here. And then I'm doing this, these uh, last of the wheels, you know, so, and I have just uh, glued, uh, uh, let's see here, I have glued, sorry, this one, I have glued this part here, so, uh, one uh, it was kind of broken so I fixed it but uh, and then I have made the holes a little bigger with a bigger drill so they don't kind of uh, uh, it's not so tight anymore so and I need to do it with this one but then we are we are ready to do it so I will just do this quick. I will remove this camera. Or not remove it, I will just move it a little bit. So you can see what I am doing. See, because I 
uh, I drilled the holes just a little too small. So but now I think this one is dry now, so we can move move the stuff. And take this off to no. So, <coughs> see now we will put all of these sticks in here, like this, because now it's, it's much easier, because there are a lot of room for them, because they will varies very much in thickness so and then we glue instead But uh, I stick them in before I glue it to glue them because then I don't get in trouble later on. We only want glue on the on the part of the stick that's in the wheel. I guess. Put glue on the tip. All of them. Oops. That was a thin one. Because now we can do like this. So, and they are all 
glued inside the hole. I will take a piece of paper towel. Take the worst stuff off. In there, and we will wait a little bit for that to dry. Then, then you can <laughs> see this one the part of the machinery that kind of throws the ammo around, and you can see it's kind of tapered, uh, it's smaller in this end than in this end so and again this more of a look than it is anything else but uh, of course the lighter weight there is out there the longer it will throw but it's not that important but I will do it that way Just make a make a line so I can use to saw after. Because now there is this string on here. Um, it's a little difficult. But we will make a nicer line when we finished. Just so. So it looks nearly the same as the, as the other one. See? Then we will refine the line. <coughs> you can see it goes to about here. And we will take a long ruler. A long one. And so we can make a nice even. Oops. This fingers away. You can, if you are not eager to saw, uh, that long of a stretch here, you can of course use Send it down as you wish. Now we will make the other stroke. I will turn it around so I have a little more for the ruler to lay on. It's easier to handle that.
go. And here we're going to have the tip. So you can see, I think, <coughs> that way. And then there was some hole in these hooks. pivot point of in the towers and the pivot point of the ballast we will find the middle more precise well, but then uh, like this so it will throw it in the air and you can see we have a piece too much here but um, I guess now I will find the and it should be about 18 and it is so 9 is the middle of the And you can feel it here because it's two pieces glued together. So, but uh, just so we are sure that we don't. You can see this kind of. two sizes of hole here. This one is a small one and that is where do I have? Here do I no here. And that was five and the one I have in here is not a five. So put the five is somewhere on the table. Here it is. See, it's bit like this.
We need to make a bigger one for the, the guy upstairs here. Six five. Yes. Yes. A little thicker. this way so it will have to do because there are some big room in uh, in your part it will go up and down in a hurry so but uh, we need to make this finish I think that's okay by now and then we can that's not very long long enough maybe we should take that one out if we can now I will go and take another two Something in a wrong size has gotten in here. Go away. That's the right size. Put a little glue on this end. And 
now we can get to our business. Not too much because it's not dry yet. Come on. But you can see now we have two of a kind here. And we will try to make this one. That away and that away. It's actually now I should use this one. I have made a double. So you can see what's going on.
see it's hard stuff to uh, saw with the grains uh, uh, with a, a blade that don't have bigger teeth than that one. So well, I wanted to find my body. Here it is. <coughs> it can, the saw can barely make it, but it's still a little bit quicker than I will take the sandpaper over here. And my scissors. Who took my scissors? Admit. Break down and admit. Usually it lays right in front of my nose. Someone has been working in the other studio. You can see how fresh this tree is, it kind of, it's way too fresh. But uh, that's what I could get. The bird, the birds have hardly left it before they sell it. Sandpaper can hardly sand it of the same reason.
a little you can see where we haven't got down to yet you could have done that from the start instead of the sawing but it goes <coughs> sorry it goes a little big bigger not much but we will saw the last see if we can Stick finish.
a knife. Hey, that was not that nice, but uh, does that that just mean more sanding? He kind of wants it to run its own way. so long that it's along the grain then it kind of behaves behaves I need some new paper lot of sandpaper is needed and this is only maybe I should take something that is a little hard a little more grains in it eight grains 80 grit I mean you would say see this is only 240 and I take something and, it, and remember this scissor are only used for sandpaper oh. don't take your mother's sewing scissor because it will never ever gonna do anything good with with uh, cloth anymore. helped a lot so now we can go back to our 80 240 grit just to make it nice A nice stick we have here. I will just make it finish, make it kind of round in the end.
we call it break the edges. I don't know what you call it, but it's kind of look a little more finished if you do that. But I know I use machines for this, but that is not necessary. But it's just because I don't want you to get more bored than necessary. You probably already are because it took a long time. But when you are finished, I will make this nice. When you are finished with this, and then uh, I'll hope, I guess we will be finished tomorrow. We only need the stick and then uh, a little robe on for looks. And then, yeah, the release down in the other end. And then we are finished. And I will remove this one so we can see under the table that not helping. But you can see we need to make some releases here and this end like the one over here. And oh, we need a couple of holes in this one. But there uh, and the rope and then we're finished. And the good part of this, this is creaky, boys and girls, it's something that works in real life and you can plant it on any surface. And uh, I think we need to do this is a little bigger, but not much, but you can see. That's a good thing. There is nothing wrong with computers, but sometimes it's also nice to can, can uh, make physical stuff. That's have its own charm, right? So a new table to the computer, or if you want to lift it a little, I have a son that's. Uh, programmer and uh, a coder in, in uh, ed, IT and uh, he need something to s have his uh, computer standing on because I don't know the way he have uh, positioned himself or something so and then it's good that you can stand up and okay I make one of those and you can make a cool thing like this. But tomorrow we will finish it by this. But uh, now I will go on to new stuff. So in half an hour we have uh, Santa's workshop. So hopefully I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.